The number of people affected by humanitarian crises is at a record high. Armed conflicts, natural disasters, and public health emergencies like COVID-19 cause widespread suffering and seriously affect people's mental health and psychosocial well-being. Many people affected lose everything they care about. Their loved ones, homes and livelihoods, their communities, their sense of place and sense of self. Yet resources for mental health and psychosocial support services are severely lacking. This leaves many people in severe distress and without the care they need. More than 85% of people affected by mental health conditions in humanitarian settings do not receive treatment. Where services do exist, they are often disconnected and inconsistent. Service providers often lack the training and support they need to provide safe and effective services. Humanitarian donors often don't know which MHPSS activities they should fund, and those planning and implementing programs are faced with tough decisions about what to prioritize. The MHPSS Minimum Service Package outlines the minimum MHPSS activities that should be implemented in all emergency settings across health, protection, and education sectors. The package is based on existing guidelines and extensive consultations with people involved in humanitarian assistance in frontline, regional, and global roles. It is designed to support humanitarian actors to improve coordination between different sectors, identify MHPSS program gaps and priorities, provide timely MHPSS programs based on evidence and guidelines, increase funding allocation for MHPSS, improve coverage of MHPSS activities, and ultimately improve the mental health and psychosocial well-being of people affected by humanitarian crises. The MSP is currently being piloted in Colombia, Iraq, Ukraine, Nigeria, and South Sudan. I think the MSP in the context of South Sudan will be more than instrumental. The MSP will generate more evidence. Currently in South Sudan, we are in the process of updating the 4Ws assessment to map the MHPSS needs and resources in the country. The MSP will be a great contribution to this exercise. We will understand more in terms of uh, prioritization of needs. We will contribute uh, uh, more effectively to humanitarian needs of our view humanitarian response plan or humanitarian appeal funds. And also currently we are in the process of developing the National Mental Health Strategic Plan of South Sudan for the upcoming five years. The MSP will help us also to understand more uh, what to do and what is working, what is not working. We in WHO, in a Northeast team, are very happy that the minimum service package on mental health and psychosocial support is coming on board. And uh, in our context, in a humanitarian setting, this is a, a, something which is long overdue. The minimum service package comes at the right time in this COVID pandemic era, when much is needed, because this will set the tool and will make things clear in terms of advocacy, in terms of coordination, in terms of integrating mental health and psychosocial support, in terms of training the frontline health workers, what specific interventions in terms of um, mental health services that need to be done. And these guidelines, we are so proud to be part of it. We look forward to use it. Again, this will give the WHO the opportunity to guide partners as a minimum service package. We believe that this is what the state can use and ensure that all primary health care services are integrated with this. People with gender-based violence who need support, people with um, all forms of you know challenges because of the ongoing insurgency of more than 13 years and it has brought this humanitarian crisis to the people with a lot of stress and challenges. 
we believe that the minimum service package is the right time. We are hoping to increase coverage of MSP activities with increased funding in humanitarian settings around the world. We are now seeking feedback from diverse humanitarian actors. You can log in to explore the MSP and let us know your thoughts. With support and collaboration from humanitarian actors around the world, the MSP can play a key role in helping people to recover and rebuild their lives after an emergency.